All right, guys. So now that we're on the bandwagon for talking about smaller USA knife made making at companies, I thought it was worth mentioning. I was terribly deploy this knife. I thought it was worth mentioning the Tour brand. Now, if there is one brand outside of maybe TRM that I get tons of recommendations from my awesome subscribers to check out, it is Tour or Tour, however you want to say that name. Um, this company. I get tons of my subscribers telling me, you know, what do I think of them? What is my opinion? Have I tried them? I should try them. You know, all those kinds of comments. So definitely keep barking up the tree and I'll eventually listen and pick one up. And that's what I did with the tour. And this one in particular is the Chasm Widow. It is a Smoky Mountain knife works uh, exclusive and this one's a little bit different because it has this g10 show side with that really nice vibrant red um, liner but ultimately the reason why i haven't picked up a tour before this is because i originally looked into the merchant the merchant line of knives that they made and every knife i was seeing um at least from people who were selling them on the secondary. They always had some kind of lockup issue, centering issue. Every um, tour merchant knife that I had come across, at least the 1.0s, were just off in some kind of way, especially the ones with lock rock, and uh, I really did not want to get them. So I was holding off until they made more and presumptively better blades. But I think now I can finally recommend Tour because the chasm that I have, the chasms that I've seen, and the fact that they are coming out with the Merchant 2.0, which will hopefully alleviate those lock rock issues from the Merchant 1.0, I think are blades that I can like finally recommend. And honestly, it's one of those things where looking at Tour from a you know blade perspective, they are awesome knives and they look good. They look attractive. They're different enough, they're unique enough, and they also borrow on a lot of elements from other great knives. Now, I'm not the largest fan of titanium frame locks, as you guys are probably well aware on this channel, but at the same time too, these guys have done a lot of, um, I don't wanna say copying exactly, but they have taken inspiration from some really good blades out there. And in fact, they've heavily inspired, or they are heavily inspired by the Chris Reeve knives, Sebenzas. And that's not a bad thing. And honestly, I kind of came to this realization when I was holding this thing, I was like, man, this feels so good in my hand. It feels really similar to the Sebenza. And honestly, I kind of like looked at it like this. I was like, wow, that handle, and just the overall shape of it looks a lot like a Sebenza, doesn't it? And so I pulled out my Sebenza 21, and obviously this is a large Sebenza, so it's not quite the same size-wise, but as you can see, the general shape is very similar. And once again, these are definitely not, like this is not a clone of the Sebenza. There are unique things on both of them, but they did, they definitely took some inspiration from the Sebenza, but that's honestly good because taking inspiration from the best is a good thing. Like that's what you want to do. So ultimately I'm pretty happy with the fact that they did take inspiration from the Sebenza, arguably one of the better or one of the best frame locks out there one of the original frame locks and so yeah is really cool and um i definitely appreciate that and so like i said now that they have a good solid build quality behind them i think the tour is really a fantastic manufacturer to go for and once again similar to my trm i bought this with my own money i'm not sponsored by them they did not send me knives as much as i would love to get tours in the mail from them, uh, I did buy this one with my own money. So yeah, but uh, anyways, that is the chasm itself. I think it's really pretty darn cool. And once again, you know, I'm, I wanna do videos covering more of these kind of niche brands that aren't like super exclusive, super hard to get a hold of, but knives that genuinely I feel like are comparable in price and performance to many of the like Riate, Wii kind of blades that are out there because these are honestly some seriously good manufactured USA knives and 
when people sit there and say that, you know, oh, the Chinese knife market is just taking over. Often that, that kind of remark comes from the fact that people aren't really looking for other USA blades. They just see, you know, ZT isn't making knives anymore. You know, the Chinese knife companies are taking over or whatever, you know, and it's like maybe, but also at the same time too, there are really solid blades like Tour, like TRM, like Hogue that are really honest to God, pretty good USA manufactured brands that are, are still like making knives, well-made knives, well-valued knives in the US. So anyways, guys, that is my truth to tour and why I just now picked up a tour knife. Um, I am excited to see more of what they have to offer as far as folders go. And hopefully they continue to keep the quality up and they don't have any like lock rock or centering issues. Um, yeah, so that is my experience with them. And now I can say that I definitely do recommend them. I think they're awesome blades as a word of caution, as I, if it wasn't already clear enough, definitely if you are picking up blades on the secondary or at least tour blades on the secondary, you want to make sure to stay away from the 1.0 merchants, unless you test one out like if you can physically hold it in your hand and make sure that it doesn't have any lock rock or blade centering issues like if it's truly put together correctly then i would say it's a good buy especially if you can get it for you know like 150 bucks uh, but at the same time too uh, just be a leery of those original 1.0 merchants the 2.0s should be good to go anyways guys as always god bless and i'm out